we'll take one more sum where the range is minus pi to pi but for minus pi to 0 the function is cos x and for 0 to pi the function is minus cos x okay now you have a perception in mind that whenever the function is cos the function will be even function but make a note of this the function here is not compulsory cos it is cos for minus pi to 0 and for 0 to pi it is minus cos x so it is not compulsory that the function will be even we need to check by replacing x with minus x so first let us replace x with minus x so what will i get x minus x simply without using my brains wherever i get x there i have replaced minus x okay now let me simplify this expression so what will i get cos of minus x i know that is cos x and this will be again minus of cos x <coughs> Now, this range is for minus x. So, again, I will multiply this by minus 1. So, after multiplying minus 1, the range minus 1 with pi, this will be the new range. Now, look at this first step and third step properly. If you look at this first step and third step, for cos x, the range is x greater than 0. Matlab, x 0 se bada hai. Ab, idhar x 0 se bada kab hai? माइनस कॉस एक्स के लिए तो आप ठीक से देखोगे ये सेम रेंज है पर फंक्शन सेम नहीं है फंक्शन में एक माइनस साइन एडिशनल है सो क्लियरली वी कैन सी दैट एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स अ माइनस साइन एडिशनल इज देयर एफ ऑफ एक्स सो व्हाट कैन वी कंक्लूड फ्रॉम दिस दैट द फंक्शन इज ऑड फंक्शन सो एज आई टोल्ड यू फॉर द रेंज यू नीड टू चेक whether the function is odd or function is even now if the function is odd you know a0 will be 0 and an will also be 0 so what you need to find is your original Fourier series now will just become 1 to infinity of bn sine of nx so now what you need to find is you just need to find bn so bn formula will be as we have written in the earlier part of the sum also it is f of x sin n x correct perfect now f of x 0 to pi mein kaun sa function define hai hum sum mein jayenge f of x kaun sa lena hai do option hai mere paas ek cos hai aur ek minus cos so 0 to pi mein kaun sa function define hai minus cos x so when i solve in the sum i will pick up this minus cos x so let me pick up this so this will become 2 by pi 0 to pi minus of cos x sin nx dx now understand students that you cannot use shortcut method u into v because both are trigonometric function none of the derivative is vanishing neither you can root e raised to ax sin because you don't have an exponential so whenever we have both trigonometric function i cannot use by parts okay so there is a hint or there is a formula that you know that is 2 cos a sin b. You can write down somewhere. Okay. So, what is the formula? Sin a plus b minus sin of a minus b. Okay. So, we will use this formula. You can use this 2 inside. Minus you can take outside. So, you will get minus outside. 1 by pi. And 2 you can take inside because you have to write the formula for 2 cos a sin b now if i compare this with this my value of a will be what 1x so it is 1x and my value of b will be what nx so in the same formula i have to substitute 1x and nx so using this formula still my integration is remaining i'm just simplifying i'm not integrating yet integration baki hai so this will be sin of 1x plus nx minus sine of 1x minus nx dx okay so what you can do is now you can take this n outside so that will be 1 plus n n common lily angle may be and this will be sine of 1 minus nx okay 
now we can simply integrate if you look at it properly integration of sine you know it very well that is minus cos so now let us integrate so that will be minus cos of 1 plus n angle you will have to divide as we have we know the integration and this will be minus and cos ka integration ka minus so that will become plus correct upon 1 minus n okay so now what you have to do is uh, sorry i forgot in the minus sign which in the earlier step so so now what you have to do is we have to substitute the limits limits first i'll substitute in first part of the step upper limit minus lower limit and then i'll substitute for this part you can do anyways pehle pura upper limit bhi substitute karke fir lower limit karo ya pehle hi part mein dono upper lower and then upper lower the answer is going to come same but i am going to take the first part first so this is cos of 1 plus n x ke jagah mein upper limit substitute karungi that is pi minus and this minus will become plus are you getting this cos of upper limit i have substituted now i'll substitute lower limit which is zero but one more minus i have so this minus and lower limit wala minus will become plus correct then you'll have cos of zero multiplied by any angle will be zero one plus n correct next now in this i will substitute the upper limit so this will be cos of one minus n upper limit that is pi minus lower limit ka minus cos of zero and one minus n so i have substituted whatever values limits i have got okay so let us see now what will i get now there is a formula that i have given you in the first lecture but still if you want you can write down cos of n plus or minus one of pi is cos of n pi with a minus sign okay so so using this formula in this step so what will i get this minus and this one more minus will become plus so i'll have cos of n pi okay and plus as it is cos 0 you know it is 1 the denominator is same so i can write this so these answer i've written here now i'll solve these two with a what i'll do plus sign what is cos of 1 minus n that is minus cos n pi minus cos 0 upon 1 minus n i can take this minus sign outside so for simplification i can write it as cos of n pi plus 1 upon 1 plus n you can take this minus outside so what you'll have cos of n pi plus 1 again because you know that cos 0 is 1 upon 1 minus n okay so if you look at it, this step properly cos of n pi plus 1 cos of n pi plus 1 that can be taken outside so this will be cos of n pi plus 1 upon pi inside what will remain is 1 plus n and 1 minus n so let me cross multiply and let me simplify the brackets so i'll have cos of n pi plus 1 upon pi this will be 1 minus n minus 1 plus n and multiplication so 1 plus n into 1 minus n okay so if i open these brackets this n and minus n will become minus 2n so that will be cos of n pi plus 1 upon pi so this 1 1 will get cancelled and you'll have minus 2n and a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so this is the answer for b n actually now if you look at it properly if the value of n becomes 1 okay if the value of n becomes 1 because what do we write summation n goes from 1 to infinity aise hum log likhte matlab n ka value 1 hone wala hai fir 2 fir 3 infinity tha if the value of n becomes 1 1 minus 1 will become 0 and 1 upon 0 you know it is infinity to ye pure ka answer infinity aayega which is not possible because coefficient should be finite okay so this value is correct except for 1 okay are you understanding this why except for one i have written because if if i take value as one you will get the answer as infinity so 
except for one it holds true correct perfect so now we have two cases again if n is even and n is odd because you know that cos n pi the value of cos n pi has two values because the value is minus 1 raised to n so if n is even the value of cos n pi will be what 1 correct but if n is odd the value of n pi will be what minus 1 so if even hoga to answer alag aega agar odd hoga to answer alag aega so we need to form two cases so let us form the two cases so bn has two cases if n is even agar n even hai to answer kya aega ye ho jayega minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 will become 0 so answer will become 0 if n is odd and for even you will have 1 plus 1 2 and 2 and 2 will become 4 so the answer will become 4n and minus minus will become plus upon pi into 1 minus n square if n is even odd may 1 nahi likhna hai so i'll write except for 1 because 1 hai to answer infinity ho jayega okay so this will be my final answer for bn now one thing we need to note that bn ka answer ye ho gaya agar even hai aur bn ka answer ye ho gaya agar wo odd hai but what if it is one so if you want you can we'll see what if it is one so when n is equal to one let me find the answer for bn bn ho jayega b1 so let us write the formula for b1 2 by pi f of x we write sin nx ab n ka value one hai to sin x aayega so if I substitute this that will become 0 to pi minus cos of x sin x dx. But now if you take inside this 2 cos sin you know that the formula is sin 2x ka formula. So that will become sin 2x. Okay and you know that sin 2x dx the integration is 0. So whenever n is the value my answer for b1 is becoming 0. So when I write the summation sin we will not write n goes from 1 to infinity because the value of 1 is coming 0. So, for my final Fourier series, you can write it as f of x is equal to. So, what is the equation 1 that we have written? Summation n goes from 1 to infinity bn sin of nx dx. Okay. But now you know n, ye isko open kar lenge b1 sin x dx plus b2 sin 2x dx plus so, sorry i will not write dx sorry i'm sorry it is not an integration so i need to erase this dx same case i'll write integration okay so i will not write dx anyhow hmm. so b bn sin nx so this is sin x sin 2x sin 3x and so on so this will be my series okay now b1 answer is 0 that you know now answer for b2 if we go up i have written the answer for b2 what is the answer 4 into 2 pi 1 minus 2 square okay so that will be 4 into 2 pi 1 minus 2 square b3 will be 0 and so on so this will be my picture of my final Fourier series so either you find b1 this is this was just for your understanding so this is going to be my required Fourier series for the function f of x